Hey guys, it's Buya and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I have here with me different brow products from Kathy Dolls for date looks, tepa. Para maganda tayo sa at saka maganda yung kilay natin for date looks. So, I have prepared for you guys a very very simple na look but with different brow style. So, Mag-iiba talaga face natin with different brow styles, different products, how to use them. So I'm gonna show it, show them to you. So I have here different kinds of brow products, and yeah. So I so swatch ko sila. I, um, I will try them on for you, demo, and then comment you down below, guys, which will be your favorite style, ano favorite yung na product. I would love to know. Comment them down below, and of course, please do follow me on my Instagram account. It's at Makeup by Buya. You can also comment there, ha. You can also comment, DM me kung ano favorite yung na Kathy Doll product, ano favorite yung na brow style. So remember, comment down below, and let's start. Now, let's start this tutorial. First, I'm gonna start off with Kathy Dolls AA Matte Powder Cushion in the shade Sand Beige. Start. Now, I'm gonna set my face with a powder foundation. Now I'm going to add more color to my face by contouring and bronzing up. Now, to look more rosy for our date night, I'm gonna add blush. And since we need to glow up for this date look, we need to add them highlights. And of course, for those very kissable lips, we need some tints. Almost done, but we're lacking this. Hey, we need to fill them up with different styles. Now I'm gonna show you the different styles, the different products. Or our first date look style, I my first eyebrow product are the sexy eyebrow pencil from Happy Bell. My favorite. Oh my gosh. I cannot even my I love them for real. And these are the first eyebrow products that we're gonna try out. So they have four styles. One, two, three, four. And then the first one is the darkest one. And then of course, lightest yung fourth. So my shade, yung preferred ko, yung second. So if you have like a hair dye, medyo lighting hair nyo, then opt for, opt for this one. Opt for a lighter shade. Whatever you prefer, do yourself, honey. So I'm gonna do myself too. I'm gonna get number two. Oh, diba? I rhyme. So, 
before I before I test this product, before I try them on myself, must swatch muna ako so that you'll be able to see the different shades of different number styles, diba? Okay, so now I'll be swatching the shades for you to see the different shade styles. So the first one is a bit dark. So if nagtitipid kayo ng pera and gusto niyo, um, you'll be able to make the most of your out of your purchase, then you can definitely use this as your eyebrow product. You can use this also as your eyeliner kasi napaka pigmented niya naman. So um, if you have a dark hair color and you want to again make the most of, out of your product, out of your purchase, then number one na shade is for you. Okay, but for me, kahit ako, kahit I have a dark hair, I prefer to use the shade number two. Kasi for me, kasi safer siya, kasi ato siya. Safer siya for me, kasi it's not too dark and I can build up the shade. So and it won't come off, come off too strong. Kasi nakamahirap na dai if too strong yung ilay natin sa first date natin. So, no, 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 no. And then third is the shade. So if you have like a browner hair, a lot browner hair than I do, if you have dye, then this is for you naman. Okay? And then lastly, shade number four. This will work well naman if you have blonde hair and you have lighter hair basically. So actually, all of them, not just number one na shade, you can use them as your eyeliner kasi napaka dual purpose niya kasi napaka pigmented niya, napaka waxy. It doesn't hurt sa eyes pag nalalagay mo. So you'll be able to make the most out of your products or your purchase talaga. So we'll start applying na and I'm gonna use the shade number two. two. So for this kilay, since it's a sexy eyebrow pencil. Gusto ko napaka on fleek kasi sexy, di ba? So, pag nasa isip ko on fleek, gusto ko, ah, uh, pag nasa isip ko sexy brow, dapat on fleek tapos napaka plakado talaga ng kilay ko kasi parang, you know, I got you. Parang ganun. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do that right now. Okay. So, first, since it comes with a spoolie, and what I what I like to do with my spoolie is I bend it, ayan, kasi bendable naman siya. So parang easier for you to brush it up or comb it, um, whatever way you like. So easier pag nakabend siya, ganyan. Ang hirap pag straight kasi, basta mahirap siya, mas easier siya pag nakabend siya like this. So binibend ko siya like that and I um, comb my hair into place. Ayan. And if you observe your kilay, like observe nyo, parang palagi kayo nagpa-practice ng eyebrows nyo, uh, manunotice nyo na yung kilay nyo meron siyang natural brow line. So, if you fill in natin yung natural brow line natin, dapat mag-fill in kayo or mag-draw kayo ng um, kilay nyo, hindi siya dapat sa labas ng natural brow line or sa sobrang loob. Dapat nasa eksakto lang talaga na brow line. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I focus muna sa brow tail. Dito sa may arch. This is the brow head pala. This is the brow head and this is the brow tail. So, better learn the terms. And then, if you go first sa brow head, so, it will come off strong and we don't like a very boxy brow. So, ay, nako, wag yan. So, dito muna tayo sa brow tail and then, slowly push the product to the brow tail. Okay. Uh, I mean, to the brow head. So, and then I go to the upper brow line. And then follow the natural line to brow tail ko. I feel like for me, I don't need to use a concealer to carve out my brows. It's already shaped so good. So, that's why I like it so much. Pag na-draw na yung brow line, then I fill it in. Dito lang ako sa brow tail, nag-fill in. Ayan. Then, very little hair-like strokes dito sa brow head. 
And then I take my spoolie. So you notice, meron dito sa brow head, meron space. And so what I like to do is um, spread the brow product using the spoolie. Yan, dito muna ako magsa-start sa brow tail. And then what I like to do sa brow head is I brush it up. So it looks more very natural, very hair-like. Kasi yan yung uso ngayon eh. Hindi na like super very outdrawn. Gusto natin ngayon very natural talaga, very hair-like. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so you can really see the difference na um, sa right side ng face ko, napaka-framed na talaga ng look ko. And when you see here, it's so bald. It's so like, it's so empty. Tapos hindi yan pwede. So, dapat ganito tayo. Yan. Parang pack lang talaga. Very sexy eyebrows for a very sexy date night. Diba? Okay, so we better fill in this side also para hindi empty yung puso natin. Okay, so fill in natin. If you want na yung brows nyo medyo like a bit lighter lang, so we have here Eyebrow Cara from Kathy Doll. So we have here four shades, and we have this one na medyo coppery, caramelly siya. And then this one, also very caramelly but more on the blonde side. And this one, this looks very taupey but medyo may pagka coffee ganon. And then this one is like a true taupe ash shade. So I can't hand swatch them, but my shade is definitely this one. So I'm gonna tint my brows, make my brows a little bit lighter. So again, with this spoolie, I like to bend it again. Yeah, because bendable naman siya. I like my spoolies that way. Easier to apply brow product. It's easier to use a spoolie that way. So what I like to do to tint my brows, I go against the brow growth. So our brow growth, papunta siya dito. Sa right side, papunta siya dito. Sa left side, of course, papunta naman siya dito. So, para pumasok talaga yung pigment sa brows, um, brow hairs, brow hair, brow, um, kailangan natin, ano, mag-go against sa brow growth. Ayan. Malalaman mo na you're going against the brow growth pag gumaganyan siya. Oh. Parang tumataas siya. If you're doing that, hindi mo lang kina cover yung isang side ng um, brows, but you're covering both sides. Kasi you're going against, and then you're combing it backward. So all areas are covered talaga. And there you have it, Kathy Dolls Eyebrow Cara. So. We have here our real brow for the tattoo tint. So we have the shades light brown, ash brown, and dark brown. Dark brown, oh, diba? So we have three shades here na ito test ko ngayon. And I'm gonna swatch first the shades. So we have light brown. This is light brown. And again, if you have blonde hair, this is for you. So, ang ganda kasi for a uh, four yung strokes na magagawa mo agad and very fine, very delicate niya and very light lang siya. And actually, this one when you swatch it first, yeah, when you swatch it first, nandito sa actually na sa likod niya. Before ang napaka light niya, but then it darkens over time, which is three to five minutes. So may waiting time siya na three to five minutes. Yeah, nasa likod yung instructions niya. And then, next shade that I am gonna swatch is Ash Brown. This is Ash Brown. And lastly, we have Dark Brown. 
You have dark brown. And yeah. Actually, pag dito, it's a tricky shot first. But once you get the hang of it, you will get the hang of it. <laughs> okay, so first, pag dito sa brow tail, mas gusto ko parang pa-V siya. Ang awkward ko. Pero parang pa-V yung pag-drawing ko. Ayan. So parang, pag nasa upper part ako, pag go, nag, um, I go down. And then, pag nasa lower brow line naman ako, I go up. So, Ano notice niya pa yung pavisha ganyan. And then I switch up pag nasa nandito na ako na part when I'm nearing the brow head na I switch up to a lighter shade and that is yung ash brown. See, napaka safe lang talaga kung ash brown yung if you use a lighter shade sa brow head nyo. But if you want to opt for a stronger brow, then you can definitely can because girl, diba? Do you. So we are gonna do you and do me, do my brows. <laughs> So, we're gonna try stronger brows. Because some people really do prefer stronger, bushy brows. So, we're gonna do that with this side. Yeah, so this is what the other brow looks like. So, if you want a more bold, bushy looking eyebrows na extended, then you can definitely opt for this. So, I'll match lang my other kilay with this one by applying this on this part. Para ma-match lang siya. Real quick. And there you have it. See? Very natural, super natural looking eyebrows. And then again, wala na naman tayong kilay. For our last product, we have here, Kathy Doll Tattoo Tint Pack. May tatlong shades tayo. So, we have the shades Dark Brown, Deep Brown, and Medium Brown. This is definitely a must kasi by using this, it can last like up to 3 to 5 days. So, depende talaga sa inyo, but it can definitely last you a week. So, very perfect pag nasa vacation kayo. So, we're gonna try out the dark brown shade. So, eto yung packaging nila. Napaka cute, napaka pink, very neon pink. Hindi nyo, hindi nyo talaga mawawala sa purse nyo. So, definitely a must. Parang very gel like siya. It looks scary at first. Um, when I first tried it out, no, nat natatakot ako, baka matanggal yung kilay ko, but no, girl. Um, very, very reliable siya, very safe, and don't be scared. Ito na yung finished product, like, ito na talaga. Pare <laughs> joke lang. Um, so, ito siya muna. Ipapaw mag wait muna tayo ng 15 to 30 minutes. So, from ugly duckling, magiging beautiful swan tayo. Okay? We'll, we'll, we'll wait first. And time's up. Ready na siya. I peel off the most satisfying part of this eyebrow routine. Yeah, and so let's take it off. So we're gonna take this side also. Super satisfying. Super fun. Like, super fun, super ma pang matagalan at saka super nakaka-on fleek siya, diba? have it for the 
different brow styles and different products of Kathy Dust. So guys, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. If you have any more comments or suggestions, like comment you guys down below. Ano favorite niyo na brow product? Ano favorite niyo na brow style? Comment you down below. I would love to know. Please comment them down below. Again, just remember, no hate, just love.